today we are going to cover video video stands for virtual data optimizer in rh el9 the way of using video has been changed and the video command has been depreciated so in this video we will learn how to attempt the question on video in rh el9 let's suppose the question is to create a video named video 1 of size 50 gb and mount it at slash video underscore m so let us begin by understanding what is video video provides inline data reduction in the form of t duplication compression and thin provisioning the basic idea is to remove the duplicate copies of data and keep one copy whenever an identical file is added it is marked as duplicate and a reference will be made to the original copy in this way, video helps in saving a lot of space or memory. Now let's see how to solve the given question. So you can begin by installing the video if it is not already present using the command yum install lbm2 space kmod hyphen kvideo space video. So, so these are the packages that will be required. So in RHEL9, the way we handle video or the way in which we use video has changed here we will not be using the video command as such but we will follow the same procedure that we followed in creating the logical volume in lvm management so here also we will use the lv create command but pass a different parameter for video so the initial steps will remain the same and you need to create a physical volume then a volume group and finally a logical volume using video so first i will list all the available disk and show you the disk i will be working with so i will be using this third available disk nume 0n3 of 10 gb size so the very first command is i need to create a physical volume so we will write pv create slash dev slash nvm e 0 n 3 okay i should be running the command as root user so let me switch to the root user account all right so i will run the command again pv create slash dev slash nvm e 0 n 3 right so the first step is done and we have created a physical volume next we need to create the volume group so vg create let's name it as vg1 slash dev slash nvm e0 m3 so we have successfully created the volume group also we can check that using vgs right so we have the volume group vg1 now let us go to the final step which is lb create and now here we need to give certain parameters the very first one is what kind of lvm you want to create so here type will be video next we need to specify name so hyphen hyphen name whatever name you want to assign as per the question let's say video one next we will give the size which is the physical size that is what physical memory you want to map to logical memory so here let's suppose the physical size is 5 gb that we want to map the ratio of physical size to logical size ideally is 1 is to 10 so if the physical size is 5 GB, then the logical size that you want to present to the user is 50 GB. So the virtual size in this will be 50 GB. It's not that you have to keep the ratio as 1 is to 10 always. The maximum size allowed for logical size is 256 times the physical size and the upper limit is 4 petabytes. But in general, it is kept as 1 is to 10. Moreover, both the physical and logical size will be given in the question. So you just follow the instructions.
last parameter is the volume group name from which we want to create this video so if you remember it was vg1 so you can see that the logical volume vd1 video1 is created we can also check using lsblk you can see here video1 is created and the size is 50 gb now the next step will be installing the file system so you can use mkfs.xfs if you want to install the xfs file system then minus k then the video location which is slash teb slash vg1 slash video1 so that's done the final step is to mount the video first create the mount point mkdir suppose the mount point name is video underscore m since you want the mount to persist even after reboot you need to edit the slash etc slash fs tab file so let's open that nano slash etc slash fs tab the entries will be as usual slash teb slash vg1 slash video1 then the mount point which is video underscore m file system that is xfs then defaults 0 and 0 save this now run mount minus a to check everything is fine no error so the mounting is done successfully so that's how we will use video using lvm method in rhel9 i hope you will be able to attempt the video question see you in the next video thank you